Before we get into today's video, first a big thanks to our sponsors at NordVPN. Get 70% off by going to nordvpn.com forward slash sensor gaming or checking out the link in the description. NordVPN allows you to surf the web as if you were located in over 60 countries, meaning you can bypass filters and regional restrictions. It also keeps your internet data secure so you get safe when browsing and they are one of the few companies that have a strict no data logging policy. It's available for mobile as well as PC and it's been consistently voted the best VPN service around. So again, get a huge 70% off by going to nordvpn.com forward slash sensor gaming or checking out the link in the description and even more get an extra month for free by using the code sensor gaming at checkout. Last month it was reported how Persona 5 Royal will be receiving some changes for its English release to content that originally saw some controversy when Persona 5 was originally released back in 2017. Persona 5 Royal is the updated re-release version similar in vain to Persona 3 Fez and Persona 4 Golden and it was released in Japan last October and will be coming to the West March 31st. The scenes in question revolve around a pair of LGBT characters who you bump into twice during the course of the game and who take a liking to Ryuji and start hitting on him. This caused controversy for some players due to reasons such as their very stereotypical depictions and also due to them acting sexually aggressive and towards minors. You can find a link to the channel's previous video on the matter in the description which contains more background info as well as comments from Atlas about why these scenes would be changed. This video on the other hand will be taking a look at how these scenes have been changed for the English release of Royal as well as translating the Japanese originals. For the translation I'd like to give a big thanks to Tom Litt Schultz, a video game localization veteran who has worked on and translated countless games for companies such as Exceed Games. The channel reached out to Tom as I thought it would be good to have a very accurate and professional translation of the Japanese version as well as perhaps a statement from an industry professional on their view on the situation and how things have been handled. Also a big thanks to Game Explain, who have been able to upload an early look at how the English version of Royal has changed one of the scenes, as well as the Twitter user PK Gaming, who has screenshots from Royal for the other changed scene. First up, we'll be taking a look at the scene from the Red Light District, with the Japanese version on the left, with Tom's translation underneath, and the English version on the right. Also note, this is from the original version of Persona 5, with Royal coming afterwards. Furthermore, one other big thing to point out is that despite wide reports from the media, the Japanese version of Royal actually also also made some changes as well, which is something we'll also be taking a look at. So first up, in the Japanese version, the character is described as extremely deep voice and says, ooh, what's this about a lovely, lovely big thing? I'm getting excited now too. The English version, however, describes the character with uncanny voice and says, ooh, a real huge catch, you say. I'm getting pumped too. The next line is similar between the two versions, although the character is given the name Big Sis with facial hair in Japan, whilst the English English version uses the name Scruffy Romantic. The following line is a bit different in Japan, with Ryuji calling the other characters monsters. And then the next line introduces the other character, who is called Muscular Big Sis in Japan and Beefy Trendsetter in English. And the dialogue is similar, although the English says Naughty Troll, whilst the Japanese says Creature of Shinjuku. Then the next two lines from Ryuji are very similar between versions, which see him distraught and asking for help, and so are the multi-choice responses you can pick. Ryuji's reaction to to this hasn't been translated, but the dialogue after from Muscular Big Sis, aka Beefy Trendsetter, says, You're a feisty one, I'm gonna give you the full service in Japan, and what an energetic stud muffin, I'll give you all the freebies you could ever desire in English. Then the other character says, The night is long, you know, let's make the most of it together in Japan, and the English version changes this to, The night is young, and so are you, let's party it up. Following this, the scene then ends with Ryuji screaming and the screen going black. So, so far things are quite similar as the Japanese version, although some differences in places such as the characters no longer being called Big Sis in the English versions, which is a theme we will see more of and go further into as we go on. Now, as for the Japanese version of Royal, most of the dialogue before Ryuji asking the player for help was changed. The first line about the big thing is the same, but then the scene is kicked off with Ryuji saying, Gah, who the hell are these freaks? With Tom adding a translation note clarifying that he's using the term him, Koitsura, which is just kind of a rude, dismissive way of saying these people. Then the next line has the character no longer being given a name and just three question marks. However, the dialogue now has the character naming themselves with the text saying, Oh, now you've done it. I am no freak. I am the fairy of Shinjuku. You may call me Angela. The other character is then also given question marks for a name and says, And I am Julianna. Call me Big Sis Julie. The next line was also featured in the original release, but for Royal, the character is now 
now named Angela rather than Big Sis with facial hair. And the difference in names is carried forward for the rest of the scene, including for the other character. And then the next line from Juliana is also new, with it reading, Never mind all that, tell us more about the big thing you were talking about. Tell us every single detail. And then from here the scene proceeds like in the original version. Now let's take a look at how the English version of Royal has changed things up. The first thing to note is that the character is now initially named Deep Voice rather than Uncanny Voice, which is much more similar to the Japanese. However, pretty much everything else from this scene has been drastically changed. The character says, Ooh, you're right, he really would be a natural, but a graphic tee with plaid pants. Ugh, kill me now. Ryuji says, Whoa, who the hell are they? And the characters respond with, Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. And I'm Julian, Julie, if you're feeling saucy. The characters then go by the names Angel and Julian throughout the rest of the scene, and Angel says, What a cutie, you'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. And Julian says, You can't deny it, we saw you peeking into crossroads. Well sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Ryuji proclaims, Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help, tell them we're just investigating or something. And then the multi-choice responses are all different too, with the top one reading, can't blow our cover, the middle, but you're a natural, and the bottom, knock him dead. Leaving out Ryuji's reaction again, Julian then says, oh honey, you've got the hotspot, and those cheekbones, I love it, that's what it takes to be a star. And Angel finishes with, just follow my lead stud, we're gonna put your name in lights, and I know just the dress for you. And then this scene proceeds to black with Ryuji screaming again. So to briefly summarise, the English version of Royal has basically changed things around so that now the characters want to dress Ryuji in drag. The English version also seems to portray the characters themselves as males who are into the drag scene, and change the names from Juliana, which is commonly a female name, to Julian, a commonly male name, as well as Angela, which is commonly a female name, to Angel, which is used for both males and females, but in Spanish-speaking countries is commonly a male name. The video mentioned earlier with the removal of the big cis part of their names seen in the royal Japanese version that this is a theme we'll see more of as we go on and these types of changes to gender related text. This is also something that we will encounter even more of as we proceed to taking a look at the next scene which takes place during the beach trip. Again the Japanese original version will be on the left and the English on the right with taking a look at royal afterwards. As you can see for the first line things were translated quite accurately and this is also the case with the second line and furthermore the names deep voice and brawny voice are very accurate to the the Japanese versions as well. The next two lines from Ryuji are also very similar, where he recognises them from earlier and asks what they are doing here. And then the following two lines from the other characters are again similar, although the English version keeps the scruffy romantic and beefy translator names from earlier, whilst in Japan it is again big sis with facial hair and muscular big sis respectively. The next line is mostly similar, but the Japanese version uses the term big sis police rather than fashion police. And then the next line introduces the biggest change made to the original English version, as over in Japan the question that they ask is, so which one of us would you say is really a man? Whilst in English they ask which of us do you think is more manly? So in the Japanese version these characters are asking who is really a man? Not who is more manly, but literally just a male. Ryuji's line afterwards is similar between both versions, and then it's in the next two lines where again differences can be found. The biggest difference being that when they reveal the answer in the Japanese version, they say that both of them are maidens, seeming to indicate that neither of them are male. Whilst over in the West, the characters instead just say that they are both lovely. And then all of the following lines are also similar between versions, with the pair sentencing Ryuji with stripping in the English version for not answering the question whilst it's confiscating his clothes in Japanese. And then the scene proceeds with the pair saying that Ryuji is under arrest, Ryuji running away and then the pair chasing after him. Now before we get into the English version of Royal, how did the Japanese Royal version change things? Well unlike the previous scene, interestingly the early change to dialogue was not a case of adding anything new but actually straight up removing one of the lines. This being the line, I'm afraid I'll need to confiscate those clothes, following Ryuji not answering the question correctly. It's not known why this happens, but perhaps there was a bit of a concern within Atlas that this may have taken things too far, or perhaps they felt it 
just didn't work very well. Royal did, however, reintroduce the characters' names from previous scenes, and so Muscular Big Sis is Juliana, and Big Sis with facial hair is Angela. As for the English release of Royal, the game doesn't release until March 31st, but we have been able to see four screenshots from this scene. The first is of Ryuji, asking what are you guys doing here? The second is of one of the characters, who is again named Julian, saying, We thought we lost our protege, who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate. Julian then says, Just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can pick up where we left off last time. And then the last scene shows Ryuji after running away and saying, Ugh, no more makeovers, ugh. So from these screenshots, it shows that Atlas USA have decided to stick with the whole makeover thing from the previous scene. Now, like mentioned earlier, I also thought it could be interesting to get a statement from an industry professional on their view of the situation and how things have been handled. And Tom has added these thoughts alongside his translation, although note, this should only be seen as his own personal view and not representative of anything else. To quote, I felt that Persona 5 was initially translated a bit too directly from the Japanese, with not much editing done to make the dialogue sound more natural in English. As such, I was not personally fond of the Persona 5 localization initially. Based on the small snippets I've seen of the royal localization, it seems as though a lot more time and effort was taken in editing this time around, and the dialogue sounds much, much more natural as a result, which is a really good thing and should make Atlas's localization staff feel proud. However, it is now explicitly clear that content sounds sanitization has occurred in relation to the characters who have been given the names Angela and Juliana. Some sanitization may have occurred previously as well, but things have been taken notably further now. The reasoning behind these changes is understandable, but the fact is, the Japanese royal scripts very much doubled down on the unfortunate stereotypes featured in the original game, meaning, for better or for worse, that that is what the original developers intended. And I think it's irresponsible to try to cleanse a script of such things in localization, as doing so runs counter to the intention of those who make these changes. If a game is released with altered text, that means the writer who wrote the offending content has officially gotten away with it. He or she will no longer be held accountable by international audiences, because most of them will never know that the offending content was there in the first place. And thus, that writer will likely include similar content in future games. It sends a very mixed message and presents a historically inaccurate image of this moment in game development. I'm personally fond of the approach taken by Warner Brothers when releasing many of their older cartoons in unaltered form on DVD and such. I wish more localization studios would simply add a disclaimer like this to the beginning of their games rather than altering content to avoid possible backlash. I think some of the alterations in Persona 5 Royal's English script are especially egregious, as the original Japanese makes it fairly clear that the characters of Angela and Juliana identify as female. They specifically ask the player to guess which of them is Otoko, male, then reveal the answer to be neither of them, and they're both Otome, maidens. This has been removed in the English, but in doing so, two LGBTQ characters who identify as female have had that identity stripped away from them. The characters are not sensitive depictions of LGBTQ personages by any means, but removing their gender identity from the script simply because their actions paint them as negative stereotypes feels like a somewhat tone-deaf and counterproductive decision. I'm not in favour of content sanitization actions under any circumstances, but when those actions arguably make these very situation they were meant to fix a little bit worse, I'm left scratching my head even harder. So that's it for the comparison between the two scenes in English and Japanese, and also for the new royal versions. But what do you think about the situation? As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and once again, a big thanks to our faithful sponsors at NordVPN. There'll be a link in the description if you want to go check their big discounts out, and until next time, thank you for watching.